You are now watching Tales from the Grid. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Tales from the Grid. In this episode, I'll be discussing the Hasbro Super 7 Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Reaction Figures Wave 3. All these figures are available to purchase through Super 7 and other websites for prices ranging from $18 to $24. The Blue Ranger looks good. I like the simplicity of the figure, and the size and articulation is a throwback to retro figures. I like that the Blue Ranger comes with his power lance and also two forms of the Blade Blaster, but since there's no holster, I wonder if the second form of the blade blaster will clip to his side or if it's meant to be held as well. I like this dragons a combination and I think the figure came out great. The only problem I see is the ends of the Z's on the knees seems to be closed but with a figure this small it's understandable. Compared to his packaging illustration, Squat is missing some details like the green circles on his sleeves and pants, the silver chin armor, the hair under his jaw and his suspenders are above his pants instead of on them. Seeing how Squat is a side character to a side character, maybe there wasn't as much as a priority on his details. If if there's articulation at the waist, it would explain the suspenders placement. Babu looks fine. They even added spikes to his thighs, hips, and his wrist. Rito's figure came out very good as well. I like how they included the mini skulls on his knees, hips, and shoulders, and they also put the eyes on his chest under the bones. He also comes with his sword and rifle. The yellow ranger wasn't included with the others in the promotional pictures, but Yichi's on the back of the box to be included in this wave. Other than that, the only problem I see with this figure is the saber tooth tiger's fangs needs to be spaced out more but she still looks good. I appreciate the inclusion of her power daggers. Whoever did the illustrations on the packaging did a fantastic job. All these figures look good. I definitely approve. If a wave 4 comes out, I'd expect maybe the Thunder Megazord, the White Ranger, Alpha, Azee Putty, King Sphinx, and Prentice Head. Thank you for tuning into another episode of Tales from the Grid, and until next time, have a good one. <laughs>